Let's look at the globalists because we had the G7 meeting and Biden's uh, over in Europe. And so, of course, we had some shills come out of the woodworks in the UK specifically since the event was in London. Here is former prime minister and uh, chancellor of the Exchequer, the guy who broke the Bank of England. Here is Gordon Brown. So when it comes to vaccines and people realize the benefit for the whole world, but particularly also the benefit to Britain, people actually 79% uh, want us to pay a fair share. So I think uh, you've got to look at these overseas aid cuts and think, what if you're pulling away the vaccine or the injection needle? Okay, uh, maybe I should give you a little context. Yes, I'm going to ask because immediately he's talking about one thing and then somehow associated with getting vaccinated. Yeah, let me give you some context. Uh, This is uh, about sharing the vaccine with the world. This is Joe Biden's 80 million vaccines. Oh, wait, it's because we got too much. We got to get rid of it and and so we don't take a bath. No, the shit's expiring. It's literally expiring. It's expiring. We got to get rid of it. It's like bad buttermilk. (laughs) I've only got so much time. Bad, bad, bad buttermilk. Hold on, I think I had a clip. Okay, here we go. Meanwhile, millions of vaccine doses are set to expire this month because of falling demand across the country. Yeah, send them to Africa. <laughs> it's what we do. It's our. It's one of the things we do. It's a very common pro, uh, process America's use. We dump our expiring goods, exactly, old drugs and everything else. We send them to Africa. So, again, Gordon Brown talking about the the globalists, and this is on the agenda besides the, the 15% floor for corporate tax global. <clears throat> uh, we need to share the vaccines. We can't have disparity. We need to get the whole world vaccinated. This is really Bill Gates's job to say this, but since he's temporarily indisposed... Uh, the elites themselves come out. So when it comes to vaccines and people realize the benefit for the whole world, but particularly also the benefit to Britain, people actually 79% uh, want us to pay a fair share. So I think uh, you've got to look at these overseas aid cuts and think if you're pulling away the vaccine or the injection needle from children and adults who need vaccinated and putting their lives at risk, then that's not a good thing and there is not public support for that. And on Friday at the G7, we will decide effectively who lives and who dies who is to be vaccinated and is therefore safe and who is not to be vaccinated and therefore is at risk do you think he like gets hard when he says that shit this we guy will- really should be i mean i can see w- how revolutions took place in the past and really in the, get future. To the point of hating people like this I mean, when you, what what arrogance we effectively determine whether, whether people live or whether they die that's just so you know i have that power i'm that powerful let me hear that again love that guy yeah, on no agenda.